Okay, I'm going to do a review on this Wild Hoss uh, Ford Bronco, uh, manufactured by AMT. Not yet a sponsor, but perhaps in the future. Uh, so, uh, let's look at this side first of the box. I guess that's an alternate decal uh, set that might be in there. We'll see. Well, that's the same thing as on the front. This picture is a little odd. We got uh, the bottom portion of the vehicle here, top portion of the vehicle there, without the vehicle itself. I don't know. I guess that's to show us uh, all the interior features that are there. So there's the back, and as usual with AMT, they give you a, a little uh, silhouette diagram of all the parts that are included, which I find helpful. Otherwise, you're just rolling the dice as to what's in there. You get a pretty good clue, but you don't always know. So, open her up. See what she's got in there. Find something to do with that. This is my first ever review, so it might be a little choppy. There's the chrome. And got the grill there. And some rims. And the rear view mirrors. A couple of bumpers. Looks pretty good. That's actually cut out. That's unique. That's an awesome feature. There are some tires. Those are pretty detailed. I guess I'll cut them out of there. I don't know if that's... I got some nice detail up on the, the edges there. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Here's the glass. We've got some uh, got some tail lights there and the windshield. That looks like that piece has a crack in it. Not a crack, but a scratch. I must know for sure. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's on purpose. I don't know if it's going to come out. But yeah, you can see it. There's an arch. An arc there. I don't know if it's a scratch. I can't feel it. But it continues on to the next one. All three of them have it. Unfortunately, oh, there it is. So you can see it. That one's got it. That one's got it. And that one's got it. The windshield does not. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a... Uh, that can't be a feature that the Bronco has, but maybe it is. That would take some research, I guess. Okay, so next is the body. There. Okay, there's our body. Little indented door handle there. 
that says Bronco Ranger XLT so originally this kit was done in I don't know when I forget I looked on scale mates it's a great place to find info the back there's another set of there's another set of rims yeah okay so there's there is four of these kind of rims a little bit of flash there nothing really on the part except for that a little bit of flash on those shouldn't scare you shouldn't be scared of that that's part of the fun. All right, so there's the uh, there's the top. Couple firewall radiator parts. Did I look at that one? Yeah, look at that one. There's the engine. Air tire cover, the interior tub, it looks okay, a little, a little soft on the detail there, they're just not raised up very much, and there's push pin marks and there are the, uh, the disrupt the carpet, that always kind of irritates me. Here's those other two rims. Got a couple springs with a whole lot of flash on them. Nothing. I mean, if you're going to be going through and sanding a seam off as you should be, the flash shouldn't bother you because it's going to come off at the same time. There's the frame. Looks uh, looks straight to me, I think. Oh, or some more engine parts. I'm guessing from what, the Windsor 302, maybe. I don't know. Two different steering wheels. Some four wheel drive stuff going on there. Interior seats. There's some texture there on those. And the dashboard. Always like to take a good gander at that. Yeah, it's pretty good. So there's a rear leaf springs differential. That's not anything. There's a couple metal axles. It's one of those kits. Uh oh, these instructions are tiny. Okay. Got a couple modeling hints. Roll bar, tire details. Put that stuff on. Engine goes in there. A couple exhaust things. Oh, 
That's all the tailgate stuff. I was wondering what that thing was. Okay, that's a decal placement. And the decals themselves are on a fairly big sheet in a protective covering with another protective covering over it. Okay, so we've got some green uh, accent pieces there. Where's that in focus at? And a Ford Bronco for the spare tire, I'm guessing. A couple of license plates. Okay. Okay, that is everything inside the box. It'll probably never go in the box uh, as neatly as it was. But that's a... Uh, that's a little adventure for me later on. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you're uh, if you're interested in one of those one of these, I would I would recommend it. There's plenty of parts in there. There's lots of stuff to do. Uh, you get plenty of uh, bang for your buck there. Um, you know, people talk about the price of a kit. You know, they say, "Oh my goodness, forty dollars." Well, if you spend forty hours working on a kit, that's a dollar an hour for fun, which is pretty cheap if you ask me, for entertainment. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you would like. Party!